Hello, today's day 78 of Cell Sergeant Ryan. Today was a good day. Every day that I'm sitting here breathing is a good day. Uh, I woke up, did my cold shower, and then went straight outside and just looked at in the general vicinity of the sun for um, around 10 minutes. After that, I had breakfast and coffee. Uh, I found that whenever I do take coffee, I get a lot more done because I feel like I don't get enough done. Uh, I don't know. I think maybe the coffee increased cortisol in my system. I feel a little bit more stressed and a little bit more tense. And I need to do more work in order for me to relieve that stress and tense. And then I get to a certain point where I do do a lot of work. And I still feel that way. And it might be because I had too much coffee. I think I should just start off very little because I had two shots of espresso, which I think is far too much. So it might be that because I'm not sure. I'm, I'm pretty sure coffee increases cortisol levels. I don't know. Um, I could be wrong. But uh, yeah, I got a lot of work done today. Like a lot. Today was very productive. Uh, I went to the gym and I did a lot of deadlifts which is hard, difficult work, and I'm glad that I did it, right? You can push your body way past what you think is your limit, which is cool. Um, I also went on a weighted walk for like a good amount of time, which that was pretty good, and that helped you know, burn a lot of energy. And then I also climbed a mountain today with my friends um, in my area, and we just played ball, right, uh, at the park, which is very, also very nice, and I burned a lot of energy today, so that, that, that's a pretty big plus, and I got to hang out with my friends, I got to do a lot of work, too, so really today was a wonderful and very fruitful day, but I think the coffee that I had put a little bit of stress on me, or it could be something else, I, I really don't know, but now I'm at the point where I understand how to deal with stress, and it's just, it's the way of the road, right? Time's gonna pass either way, so just focus and focus in on the present, and don't let my heart be troubled, right? I am fairly tired today, um, because mainly and most directly I think it's because I had a lot of sunlight I constantly knew where the sun was throughout the day right because I spent my time outside in the morning my time outside in the midday so I knew where the sun was in the midday and then my time outside uh, at the sunset so my circadian rhythm was like I right, I know I know what to do now at this time because time itself, your body does not know how to track it. Because uh, time is dependent on how much fun you're having or whatever. Because if anybody like, oh, time flies by when you're having fun. Or time lasts forever when you're doing a plank. Right? So think about it, if you do like a one minute plank, it's like it lasts, that one minute will last way more than just scrolling on your phone. So I think maybe that's an issue that your body struggles with dealing with time. So a good way to let your body know what time it is, what what hormone should be secreted, and what like you know stuff like that. Um, you need to get that sunlight, and it's very difficult nowadays in modern society where you can spend months or even a year rather inside your house. Yeah, you could, you, like, if you really wanted to, you could spend the rest of your life inside your house nowadays with all the technology, and it might not be healthy, but if you really wanted to, right, we're at that point where you can be entirely self-dependent by not even touching outside, which is kind of crazy, but, uh, yeah, I want to move away from that and spend as much time outside as possible, but, yeah, I mean... School is over soon. A lot to look forward to. And it is how it is.
today's cold shower was pretty rough. I'm not sure if I mentioned that, but it was pretty difficult. I was just very tired right now, and I can't wait to pass out because I have church tomorrow, which is going to be wonderful, and then just work, you know? It's going to be a wonderful day tomorrow. Uh, I genuinely hope you have a wonderful day. I do appreciate all the likes, comments, supports that I get. It's very nice to see and know that I have a community. Uh, yeah, I hope you have a wonderful day. And be kind to one another. Because there's still room for hatred in this world.